no doubt whatever about that. Jacob Barley was as dead as a doornail. The register of his burial was signed by the clergyman, the clerk, the undertaker, and the chief mourner. Scrooge signed it, and Scrooge's name was good for anything he chose to put his hands to. Jacob Barley was dead as a doornail. Scrooge and he were partners for I don't know how many years. Scrooge was the sole executor, his sole administrator, his sole assigned, his sole friend, and at his funeral, the sole mourner. The mention of Barley's funeral brings me back to the point I started from. There is no doubt that Barley was dead. This must be distinctly understood or nothing wonderful can come of the story I am going to relate. Scrooge never painted out old Barley's name. There it is years afterwards above the warehouse door, Scrooge and Marley. Sometimes people new to the business called Scrooge, Scrooge, and sometimes Marley, but he answered to both names. It was all the same to him. Once upon a time, of all the good days of the year, on Christmas Eve, old Scrooge sat busy in his counting house. It was cold, bleak, biting weather, and he could hear the people outside go wheezing up and down, stamping their feet upon the statement stones to warm them. The city clock had just gone three but it's quite dark already. Candles were flaring in the windows of the neighboring offices like ruddy smears upon palpable brown hair. The fog came pouring in every chink and keyhole and was so dense that although the court outside was of the narrowest, the houses opposite were mere phantoms. Merry Christmas, Uncle. God save you. Ah, humbug. <laughs> Christmas, uh, humbug. Uncle, you don't mean that, I'm sure. I do. <clears throat> Every year at this time, I find depressingly that I'm surrounded by a world full of food. Merry Mr. Merry Christmas. Everywhere a Merry Christmas. This is nothing more than stubborn mules following some catechismic rules. Bumbug. Christmas should be permanently bad. Christmas puts no farthing in my heart. The happiness more than I can swear. Christmas should be put out with a cat. I'm saying that when Christmas starts, the Christmas trees, the candy pots, and all the very sweet parts should all be put in cover pots and driven off to unknown lots and buried there with all their smuts with stakes of holly through their hearts. Yeah. 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 Uncle, Uncle Scrooge, there's Christmas, but that you cannot ignore. Listen, Uncle, don't be confused. There's proof the tears that's waiting at your door. A fortune kindness to explore. A kind forgiving pleasant time and door. Christmas is a holly day, a good and kind and brilliant ray. A richest hope and bright display. A blood of proof and bouquet. A generous and giving way. And for this fall, God bless, I say, Christmas compounds every day. It's well to be so huge, Uncle Scrooge. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What right have you to marry in your state? What right have you to dismiss so with your plate? Christmas is a time to compensate. 
Christmas is a mercantile tool. You go have your merry Christmas. Leave me with my whole existence. Make your holy holiday business. Go get fat on candy kisses. Come in time with me and Mrs. Out the door with Merry Christmas. Out the door with Merry Christmas. One more word to do and you are through.
approaches his house with the idea of going to bed. Comprehensive ocean. 
of my business. I stood deep in a hole, a grave of greed, guilt and gold, grasping cash when giving love should have been the business of my soul. I stood still where wise men stood. I saw no star as wise men could. I for I, I the fool, I who ignored the wealth of good, turn, turn toward the light that lies there before you. There is not a chance for you to change the way you live. Lift up your eyes, see the star of the wise men. They call the love in your heart can live. I'm ashamed to come my past, dragging links that greed has cast. You have time to break the mold and regiment the fire of your soul. Burn for the light that shines there before you. There is still a chance for you to change the way you live. Lift up your eyes, see the star of the wise men. Take all the love your heart can give. This life is yours to live. It is not what you take, it's what you shun the path that I trod. Expect the first tomorrow when the bell tolls one. Couldn't I take them all at once and have it over with? Expect the second <laughs> on the next night with the same hour. The third on the next night when the last stroke of twelve has ceased to vibrate. Look to see me no more, and look for your own sake, that you remember what has passed between us. spirit whose coming was foretold to me? I am the ghost of Christmas past. Long past? No, your past. Well, what is your business here? Your welfare. I am obliged. But wouldn't my welfare be better served by getting a good night's rest? Take heed. Rise and come with me. No, I, 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 I'm mortal. I, 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 I lie to the fall. 
Bear but a touch of my hand there, and you shall be upheld in more than this. <laughs> Scrooge sees an open country road. The city has entirely vanished. The darkness has vanished with it. It is clear, cold winter day with snow on the ground. <laughs> I was bred in this place. I, I went to school here. You recollect the way? Remember it? I could walk it blindfold. Let us go on. A school bell rings to signify the beginning of the Christmas recess. Boys and girls are greeted by their parents. Well, there's Gerald Thomas. Look, Charles, Charles, Charles Thomas and Arthur Small. Arthur, it's me, Ebenezer. Arthur! They can't hear you, Ebenezer. These are but shadows of the things that have been. They have no consciousness of us. There's your school. It's not quite deserted. A solitary child, neglected by his friends, is left there still on this Christmas day. Oh, yes. Yes. singing a carol at my door last night. I should like to appeal it. Let's see another Christmas. <laughs> Do you know this place? No, it, <laughs> it's, it's Fezziwig's warehouse. I was apprenticed here. Why, it's old Fezziwig. Bless his heart, it's old Fezziwig alive again. Yo-ho, my boys. No 
more work tonight. Put the shutters up. Clear away, my lads. Let's have lots of room here. Cheer up, Ebenezer. Don't be so serious. It's Christmas Eve. And look, Bella's here. <laughs> He has the power to render us happy or unhappy, to make our services light or, or burdensome, a pleasure or not. His happiness he gives is quite as great as if it cost a fortune. What's the matter? Nothing particular. <laughs> Something, I think. No, no I, I should like to be able to say a word or two to my court just now, that's all. My time grows short. Quick. Another Christmas. <laughs> there you are, Ebenezer. Older now in the prime of your life. Eager, restless, and Belle. Thank you. 
Spirit, remove me from this place. I told you these were shadows of the things that have been. They are what they are. Do not blame me. Show me no more. Conduct me home. Why, why did you like to torture me? Remove me. Take me back. Haunt me no more. Haunt me no more.
thinks the strangest things. He told me coming home that he hoped the people in the church saw him and it might be pleasant to them to remember. On Christmas Day, who made lame beggars walk and blind men see? He seems to be growing stronger every day. Merry Christmas to us all, my dears. God bless us all. God bless everyone. <laughs> Spirit, tell me if Tiny Tim lives. Spirit, tell me if Tiny Tim lives. I see a vacant seat by the chimney corner and a crutch against the wall with no owner. If these shadows remain unaltered by the future, the child will die. No, 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 kind spirit. Say, say he will be spared. If these shadows remain unaltered by the future, no one will find him. What then? If he is likely to die, he had better die and do it now and decrease the surplus population. It may be that in the sight of heaven, you are more worthless and less fit to live than millions of children like this poor child. Mr. Scrooge, I give you Mr. Scrooge, founder of the feast. Founder of the feast, indeed. I wish I had him here. I'd give him a piece of my mind to feast upon. My dear, my dear, it's Christmas Day, the children. You know he is, Robert. Nobody knows better than you. Well, then, did I tell you of the business, of the situation I have my eye on for Master Peter? Don't tell us. What is it? If, it, if obtained, it would bring <coughs> in full five and six pence weekly. Peter, man of business. Tiny Tim, would you sing a Christmas lullaby?
must go. My time grows short. Are all spirits' lives so short? My life upon this globe is very short. It ends tonight. Tonight at midnight. Hark! The time is drawing near. Give me a try. Justify the best, but I see something strange and not belonging to you. Protruding from your skirts is a claw? It might be a claw, for there is flesh upon it. They are man's. This boy is ignorance. This girl is want. Beware of them both. But most of all, beware of this boy. Before on his brow I see what is written is doom. Have they no refuge? Have they no resources? Are there no prisons? Are there no work houses? of the ghost of Christmas yet to come. You are about to show me shadows of things that have not yet happened, but will happen in the time before us. Is, is, is that so? Ghost of the future, I fear you more than any specter I have seen. But as I know your purpose is to do me good, and as I hope to live to be another man from what I was, I'm prepared to bear your company. And, and, and do it with a thankful heart. Will you not speak to me?
My silken purse so winks to you and really your bundles there. Come into my parlor, have an easy chair. I'll spin a yarn that wipes you of its silken thread. Come into my parlor, I'm sure you must be dead. Children, 
You are most kind, and you have all been working so hard. You will have these dresses done long before Sunday. Sunday? You, you went today then, Robert? Yes, my dear. I wish you could have gone. It would have done you good to see how lovely a place it is. <laughs> but you'll see it often. I promised him I would walk there every Sunday. Dad, please sing the Christmas lullaby. Please, please. something informs me that our parting moment is at hand. I know it, but I know not how. Spirit, wait! This courtyard through which we hurry now is where my place of occupation is. Spectre, let me behold what I shall be in the days to come. Stone to get your point. Answer me, answer me one question. Are these the shadows of things that will be? Or are they the shadows of things that, that may be only? No. 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 Show me that I may yet change the 
visions that you have over you. You people, the shadows pass, the shadows are the lights uncast. I see the light that shines there before me. There must be some hope by changing how I live. Lift my eyes to the star of the wise men. With all the love in my heart, I will give. I have a lot of Christmas in my heart. I try to keep it all here. The past, the present, the future. The spirit of all three will live within me. And change. Way I live. It's not what you take, it's what you give. It's not what you take, but what you give.
do you mean by coming in at this time of day? Oh, I'm for so very sorry, my kind sir. I'm behind my time. You are? Well, yes, I think you are. It's only once a year, sir. It shall not be repeated. I was making rather merry yesterday. Now, I'll tell you what. I'm not going to stand for this sort of thing any longer. Therefore, therefore, I'm going to raise your salary. <laughs> a Merry Christmas, Bob, my good fellow. <laughs> raise your salary. <laughs> I'll raise your salary and endeavor to assist your struggling family. Make up another fire and, and, and get another coal scuttle before you dot another eye. Scrooge was better than his word. He did it all and infinitely more. And to Tiny Tim, who did not die, he was a second father. Some people laughed to see the alteration in him, but he let them laugh and little heeded them, for he was wise enough to know that nothing ever happened on this globe for good at which some people did not have their fill of laughter in the onset. His own, his own heart laughed, and that was quite good enough for him, for he had no further discourse with spirits, and it was always said of him that he knew how to keep Christmas well. May that be truly said of us, and all of us, and so, as Tiny Tim observed, 